In a previous segment of Symbols and Saints, we talked about the Hail Mary prayer written in Latin upon this left wall, the north wall of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And maybe some of you were thinking, okay, but what about the words along the right wall? So today I'd like to take a look at those words and see what we can make out. Okay, so here we have Domus mea, my house, Domus orationis vocabitur, will be called a house of prayer. Dici Dominus, says the Lord. My house will be called a house of prayer, says the Lord. Then we have in ea omnis qui, trust me on that, here we are. In ea, so in it, omnis qui, all who, ask, receive. Et qui, and who, querite, seek, invenit, find. Et pulsanti, and to the one who knocks, this is kind of a, a tricky word where it packs in the, the person that it's to. So it means knock in itself, and then the ending says, to the one who knocks. A periator, it will be opened. Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and invediatis, you will find. Then we switch gears here a little bit. And it says, non est hic aliud. So here, hic, uh, there is nothing else. There is nothing else, nisi, except domus dei, the house of God, and the gate, or the port, porta celi, the gate of heaven. So there you have it, a long kind of extended biblical quotation of the promise of a house of God, of a house of prayer. So, why were these words chosen for the southern wall here at Immaculate Heart of Mary? Well, obviously, a lot of the words make sense. This is my house, a house of prayer, because we're in a church. And so, of course, the references to seek and you will find, knock, and the door will be open to you, make sense in a building that's dedicated to prayer. But I think there's a deeper significance to the words found at the end about this being the gate of heaven. Because a church is, quite literally, a gate into heavenly mysteries. It's the place where God brings down his mysterious power, his grace, and gives it to his people here on earth. But there's, in addition to that, a particular significance about those words here at Immaculate Heart of Mary. And that is that Mary is sometimes called the gate of heaven. In the Litany of Loretto, for example, we pray, gate of heaven, pray for us, asking Mary to pray for us. Mary is the gate of heaven. She's that point of entry between heaven and earth. When heaven comes to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, it's through Mary, it's through the gate of heaven. So in this church, a gate of heaven dedicated to her, it makes perfect sense to invoke her as the gate of heaven.